Dallas Cowboys training camp coverage, powered by AA Best Bell Bonds, and in part by Texas Cheer Liquor, Cowboys AC and Heating, and Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Welcome back to r and You're on San Antonio Sports Star. We promised him to you. He's here. He's Rudy J. I'm Rob Thompson. We are joined by Tony Pollard, running back with your Dallas Cowboys coming off of the field. And we're glad to have you aboard, man. How's your day going? Doing good, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for having coming on. But before we get to football, you look at me. You look at him. We like to eat. <laughs> you got to tell us about your people's spot down in Memphis, man, about the barbecue spot. Yeah, um, my dad, he's been had the barbecue spot pretty much since I've been alive. So he's been in the barbecue business 20-plus years. Uh-huh. So, so did yeah. he pass the – Do you? Ha- can you grill, too? You know how to get down, too? I, I can do a little, little something. Not little something like Pops. But <laughs> nah, not like Pops, but, yeah. What is We Pops? got different expertise. <laughs> what, what's the yeah, special? Yeah, you running back. <laughs> is it ribs? Is it pulled? What what, what are you, What's the restaurant known for? Uh, My favorite is the ribs. Yeah. Yeah. The rib. Now I had a buddy that went down to Memphis, and he was telling me about barbecue spaghetti. Yeah, is that a thing in Memphis? Yeah. They do you like? That do too. you get? Well, I mean, when you're. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much like I didn't burnt out on everything. Okay, <laughs> so you like done with Memphis? <laughs> you know, because we we from San Antonio, so we like that kind of like that with the Mexican food. Like we've had it all. Like people come down there, yeah. and they want it, but we're like, you know, we've had it all. Right. So I, I get it. I've been we doing only, that my whole life. Only barbecue. know the best, right? You, <laughs> I appreciate the best. Anybody else, anything else, I just don't want. And if you worked in a restaurant like that, I can see how you get tired. Tony Pollard joining us on San Antonio Sports Star. I'm asking a question you can ask. What's it like being the most popular running back on the Dallas Cowboys right now? What? (laughs) I mean, I don't know know too much about that, honestly. I just know come in, work, um, maximize my opportunities, and I guess that's where that's got me. Well, you have to maximize your opportunities. There's no question about it. I mean, that's where the popularity is coming from. So, as you see your progression as a pro, four years in, you're healthy this year. You feel better this year than last year. Yeah, most oh, man. definitely. You look better already. I mean, it's early on. And the funny thing about you is we couldn't tell how hurt you were till the end of the season when we really found out how you what you were dealing with. Yeah. So, everything good now? Feel, yeah, I'm 100%. Good? I'm good. So, my question for you is, as a guy who's been pushed in, in a lot of different situations, would you prefer a cutback 80-yard run, a catch in the flat, or a deep route to score a touchdown? What's the play that Tony Pollard would be that would define him as a running back? Um, Honestly, I would say whichever one that I could score on and, and take as few hits as possible. So <laughs> whichever one I could score the cleanest on. Have, Tony, has um has the media and the fans, have you and Zeke been able to keep y'all's communication open and stay on the same page and just be about the team and just block out the chirping from us and from the fans? Have y'all been able to say, hey, man, I got you, you got me? Is that the kind of relationship that y'all have, even though y'all are not competing but yeah. competing? I mean, yeah, you have to, um, just being a professional, um, you have to know what to you know, block out, you know, what to listen right. to a little bit, and you just have to, you know, just know that you're a professional athlete at the end of the day, so people are going to talk. There's nothing you can do about it. And, you know, I try to focus on what I can control. So, And it's a big year for you. I mean, we could talk about it. I mean, we all want to get to the bag. It's a big year for you. How do you not focus on trying to get the bag and just do your job each and every Sunday? I mean, my whole life, you know, I've just – I'd be mad at a lot of things if I was just worried about things that I couldn't control. So, right. you know, I just try to focus on – Things that I can't control, being on the field, making plays when I'm on the field, and then, you know, I feel like once I do that and make so many plays, then I kind of put the pressure on 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 them. So, try to take it Great off point. myself like that. Tony Pollard joining us, surprise Melrose High, right yes, out of sir. Memphis, Tennessee, <laughs> born and bred, grew up in a barbecue joint, now running the ball with the Dallas Cowboys. And you know, over the last several years, as you've grown into this position where you're about to take that next step, we all see it coming. It's just how is that going to happen? When you dealt with the offseason, what was your preparation like? Do you prepare as the one? I mean, do you prepare as the dude every day, knowing that you're going to might be splitting some carries and you might be in some situations that you weren't accustomed to? Or do you or do you prepare for the things that you know that the Cowboys are going to want you to do? Um, I mean, I'm always prepared to, you know, be the, the go-to back if that's what it comes to. Um, we had a situation like, what was it, two years ago when uh, San Francisco, when I started my first oh, game. Oh, right. You know, I just always try to be ready for when my number is called, so I'm, it's not a surprise for me if it does happen. Well, you know, we heard – the pre- reason I ask is we heard they might be moving you out in the slot. You're going to be moved around a little bit, use, utilize your quickness in, the sp- in space. Is that something you're excited about, or would you rather be, you know, give me the ball and let me let me run it like I'm um, – I mean, any way that I can get the ball in my hands, I'm excited. You know, whether it's on kick return, whether it's out in the slot, you know, out of the backfield, on the screen, or whatever, just whatever way I can have the ball in my hands, I'm I'm down for it. What um, I think 
dealing with pro athletes, y'all are y'all's own worst critics. When the season ended last year, what was it that you went home and said, okay, I have to work on X, Y, and Z? What was it that you felt like you needed to do better coming into this season? Um, no, I'd like to just overall, like everything, like speed, explosion, um, pass blocking, understanding of the game, you know, mentally. So I just try to work on like every phase, you know, I just feel like I can get better in every phase of my game. What's your room like? What's the room like? You like the guys around you? Oh, yeah, we have a great running back room. You know, everybody gets along. You know, we joke a lot, so it's a good room. Who's the, who's the, who's the biggest jokester? Um, you? <laughs> it, might, <laughs> it might be you. <laughs> if you have to ask, if he, if yeah, he, think about when it. When he paused, I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> it's Tony. You know what I mean? It might be me. So what's the, what's the evenings like after practice, after meetings? You playing games, you know, you know, PlayStation, you, you videotype, you listen to music. If you are, what's the first thing you listen to after you sit down and start to end your day? Um, I, I haven't really been on the game much. Uh, I used to play the Oculus a lot, but like since we've been really? in camp, yeah, since we've been in camp, I really haven't. No, I love it. Always made me. Nice. I love being like actually playing without having to just sit there and move my fingers, like actually being in the that's game. So that's what I like about it. What's in the playlist that you can't get? What's in rotation that you can't get out? Music wise. Um. Uh, Music wise, lately I've been listening to a lot of. You know, I just had a baby girl, so it kind of oh, changed, changed my. Congratulations! Music. Hey, I got I got three <laughs> girls, bro. I'm a girl dad. He's a girl dad. He's a girl dad. So congratulations! There's nothing like it. Yeah, it changes. They, they, it to do, and for you being a football player, you got to keep your edge because they do yeah, soften you up do. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they soften you up a little bit, man. Um, you being from Memphis. When the news, when you got the news on Young Dolph, how did that affect you? Man, that hurt. Because like uh, he is, was Memphis. Well, you know he still yeah. is. Yeah, I mean that was big. Um, that was sad news. You know nobody wants to hear any type of news like that. You know whether it's a, a big star, whatever, no matter who anybody, it is. Anybody right? like that's ba a bad news, a bad break for anybody. So it was tough on the whole city. Yeah, Tony Pollard imagine. joining us here on San Antonio Sports Star. So. Uh, apart from practice and all the OTAs and all the other stuff in the off season, what you do for yourself? Did you treat yourself for anything in the the months you were away? Um, I mean, I went home for a little minute, like probably for like two weeks. But other than that, I was in Dallas working out. You know, I'm, I'm on a mission. You work out. At, you work out at the Star yeah. the whole time. It's like, okay, how's the baby? She's good. She's turned ten months like oh, a couple handful. days ago. She's so. gonna start moving on. Oh, okay. She, she just started taking a few steps yeah. about to start walking. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The girls walk quicker than the boys it's weird yeah. they do everything quicker everything. than the boys they talk and walk and grow everything. yeah yeah it's, it's awesome yeah they're smarter than we are <laughs> <laughs> tony do you come into the season with with goals are you a short-term middle-term long-term kind of goal guy do you say this year it's going to be 1200 mm. yards or whatever it is and that's what i'm aiming for because in talking to you you're more about i just want to succeed in every play and let them define what success is for me, and I'll define my success for myself. Um, I mean, I just want to get better and better every year. You know, whatever I do the year before, I, I feel like I can get better the next year. So whatever numbers I had, I just want to better them and so, just keep going from there. I want to know, is there a play that when you hear and you're in it, that's the, that's your that's your jam, that's your play? Do you have a play call that you're like, I cannot mm -hmm. wait to get in the game and get the ball in this situation because it clicks? I'm not going to lie. Any play that I get exactly. the ball. Yeah. Anytime I can touch it, Any right? Any play that I know I'm getting it, that's, that's how I'm feeling. Are so, you able to keep up with the University of Memphis? I mean, you got, you're got a pro, but are you able to keep up with the University of Memphis and um, what's going on? I have a little bit. I, I seen they got the indoor. I, I still haven't seen the indoor. That's Yo, crazy. you haven't been down there. And then okay. I seen they got they a new, a new big yet? screen, a new big screen up there. Uh, no, I, if you get once you get this deal next year, they're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could build the Tony Pollard Hall. It'd be the if you write this check. <laughs> the Tony Pollard. Be ready. Be floor. ready for it. <laughs> you know, as you sit here four years ago, you could have been taking the NIL money. What do you see about the, all the Man. kids getting some money? It's crazy. You happy for him, but you you. I'm, like I'm happy. I'm definitely happy for him because you know I went through it, so I know how tough it was yeah. trying to balance school and you know athletics, being up early, having study hall, didn't have to go into class, and just balancing the tough schedule. Then not being, you can't get a job because right. 24 seven you busy. But I'm definitely happy for him, but I'm a little salty at the same time. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't. Y'all got a uh, tough four or five game start. You know, you see the Rams, you see the Bengals. Y'all ready? I mean, I know you go one game at a time, one play at a time, but you've had to have looked at the schedule like, oh, wow, we got some heavy hitters to start this thing out. Um, honestly, I don't pay too much attention. No, to you don't? I'm I'm locked in, like, day by day. Like, I feel like if I look too far ahead, then I'm like, 
Dang, we got a long way it's to go. It's overwhelming. Like, yeah. It's overwhelming. I got you. Does the season feel longer with just that extra week? Does it feel like it's gotten longer since you started? Um, like, you, you definitely can feel the extra yeah. week a little bit, but it's not too much. You know, we're watching practice, and we hear Coach uh, McCarthy talk a lot about you know fatigue injuries, and they're monitoring all the steps, and we're watching CD stand around with some kind of monitor on. Well, him. he had the on the neck. You had that. Is that they tracking you with that? No, neck, it's um, it's a like a, a added layer of protection to help oh, okay. prevent like brain injuries and, and really? things like that from hitting. Yeah, it's supposed to like it's a certain amount of pressure on your neck that. Sends blood to your head and keeps your brain more stable. Would so you on contact, you that's don't really. That's crazy. Would you rather wear that or that big kazoo helmet that everybody? Has? Um, I might wear both. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> no, for real. Like I, I yeah, care about real. my health. Like yeah, yeah I don't. Yeah, you want to have man. all your faculties when you're done with this? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Absolutely. We're good. We're good. You know what? We appreciate you, man. Uh, we're looking forward to a great year. We're happy for you. Stay healthy, man. We need you. I got you. Appreciate yes, you.